Hi, everyone. Today's topic is interdisciplinary education. The world needs students with interdisciplinary education. When students can understand and make connections across a diverse array of knowledge and skills, they embark on a path to more rewarding lives and employment opportunities. Higher education can and must do a better job of leading the way out of disciplinary silos. Students at Syracuse University are developing a deep understanding of neurobiology through the process of writing haiku at Nipah University. Students are learning about biochemistry by creating sculptures based on protein folding research. Harvard Medical School students are improving their communication, visual literacy, critical thinking, and empathy through art observation. These educational approaches reflect a growing sentiment that standard curricula have become too segregated or siloed along disciplinary lines and that in an increasingly complicated world, students are having difficulty understanding the connections between diverse forms of knowledge and inquiry. This movement in higher education goes beyond the general education curriculum found that almost every institution of higher learning in the United States in which students take several disconnected courses in different disciplines outside their major. In this integrative model, the knowledge, modes of inquiry, and pedagogies from multiple disciplines are brought together within the context of single courses or entire programs of study. In such a model, professors help students make the connections between these disciplines in an effort to enrich and improve learning. This model is both new and old. It is new in that society is witnessing a recent surge of interest and enthusiasm for more holistic and integrative approaches in higher education, and it is old in that it is rooted in the long-standing tradition of a liberal education that dates as far back as Socrates and Aristotle. Today it goes by many names, such as STEAM, with an A for Arts, added to the standard STEM acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, Convergence, Transdisciplinary, or even CR. Over the past two years, we had the opportunity to examine this trend in higher education in the context of a national academies that explored how approaches to teaching and learning that integrate across disciplines might better prepare students for work, life, and citizenship. Today are leaving higher education, having taken an array of seemingly disconnected courses with those courses outside their declared major seeming irrelevant to their interests and unrelated to the world beyond campus. We heard that many students are asking themselves, if I am a science or engineering major, why do I need to know about ethics, history, writing, and design? Shouldn't I just focus on the classes that will prepare me to get a job after graduation and to succeed at that job? What we learned is that a holistic education that integrates the arts, humanities, sciences, and engineering will make students more attractive candidates for employers and more successful in their future career or, more likely, careers. The challenge for higher education will be to teach students in a way that helps them understand the connections between diverse forms of human knowledge so they can appreciate, for example, the ethical dimensions of writing software that collects people's personal data without their knowledge or the importance of intuitive and aesthetic design in the engineering of a profitable smartphone. Indeed, some of the learning outcomes associated with integrative approaches, including improved written and oral communication skills, teamwork skills, ethical decision making, critical thinking, and the ability to apply knowledge in real world settings are the very same outcomes that employers and university administrators alike agree that all students should possess upon graduation. Recent surveys revealed that employers see talent as more than deep technical expertise or familiarity with a particular technology. Employers are also looking for well-rounded individuals with a holistic education who can comprehend and solve complex problems that transcend disciplines. 
an online survey conducted by Heart Research Associates found that the majority of employers say that both field-specific knowledge and a broad range of other kinds of knowledge and skills are important for recent college graduates to achieve long-term career success. Very few employers indicated that acquiring the knowledge and skills needed primarily for a specific field or position is the best path to long-term success. Employers reported that when hiring, they placed the greatest value on demonstrated proficiency in skills and knowledge that cut across all college majors. The skills they rated most important include the ability to communicate clearly, both in writing and orally, teamwork, ethical decision-making, critical thinking, and the ability to apply knowledge in complex, multidimensional, and multidisciplinary settings. According to employers, this combination of cross-cutting skills is more important to an individual's success at a company than the major she or he pursued while in college. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends if it is informative.